You're watching News Day TV. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ken Bufa. A Medford woman has pled guilty to killing her twin daughters. Tania Campbell was arrested by police in June of 2019. A 911 call claiming Campbell was suicidal and intended to kill her two-year-old girls triggered a 90-minute search by state, county, and park police. Authorities found her with the deceased toddlers in Montauk. There's, there's no winners here. This is not a, it's a, it's an awful situation and uh, I wish her the best. Uh, but like I said, she has to live with her actions and that's, she'll be tortured the rest of her life. Campbell is expected to be sentenced to 20 years to life. A foil coated Mylar balloon is being blamed for yesterday's power outage in Long Beach and surrounding communities. About 24,000 customers were in the dark for nearly 80 minutes. PSEG Long Island says power was restored to most customers within an hour. And your utility bill is going up in 2024. The LIPA Board of Trustees approved a new budget, which includes an 11.6% rate hike. That translates into 20 bucks a month increase for the average customer. And despite public objection, a new five-story mixed-use apartment complex in Riverhead is one step closer to reality. The Riverhead Town Board unanimously approved a preliminary site plan for the project called The View. It includes a 133-unit apartment complex at the corner of West Main Street and Sweezy Avenue. Officials say will revitalize the downtown area, while some residents oppose the project due to economic and environmental concerns. And after selling, selling it during budget deficits in 2013, the H. Lee Denison building once again belongs to Suffolk County. The building was sold to the County Judicial Facilities Agency 10 years ago in exchange for $69 million financed by selling bonds. They then leased it back from the agency. The county had been scheduled to repay the bonds by 2033. And the Art League of Long Island plans to reopen months after flood damage. It's targeting February 5th for visitors to return to the two-story office on Dick East Deer Park Road in Deeks, Dix Hills. The institution suffered a half million dollars in damage after a powerful rainstorm last September. No artwork was damaged. Visitors should expect to see a new concrete walkway, new drywall, and a repainted gallery. And it's almost a Cinderella story. A rookie quarterback paying his dues on the practice squad, elevated to the main event and delivering three straight victories. News ATV's Kim Jones brings us more on Tommy DeVito and the excitement he's bringing to the field for Big Blue. Well, hello there from the Giants facility. We just finished our media session with head coach Brian Dable. And Dable told us something that he told Tommy DeVito, the Giants rookie quarterback. And I thought it was particularly interesting. Dable said he told DeVito, don't ride the roller coaster. In other words, don't get caught up. Do your job because you're doing your job very well. And DeVito is doing his job very well. What I see in the locker room is a guy who's won over teammates, both on the offensive side of the ball and importantly, on the defensive side of the ball. The defensive players have told me they get motivation and energy when DeVito has one of those crazy scoring drives that we saw, especially the other night against the Green Bay Packers. DeVito's made all of the right moves so far. My inclination is Dayball just wants to stay on that steady climb with DeVito and not have anything get out of whack. This is an important week for the Giants. They'll go to the Saints, and if they win there, man, they really will be in the playoff hunt. For Newsday TV, I'm Kim Jones. Now you can read more about DeVito and the Giants. Just click Get More on the Newsday TV video box. All right, let's take a look at your Long Island weather, and it's going to be cold tonight. Look at that. The temps are in the high 20s, and tomorrow it's going to be a bit nicer, but temps will still be low. Take a closer look at tomorrow. We have sunshine all day, but temps just scraping by the mid to high 30s. Long Island weather is brought to you by Home Tax Saver, PTRC Incorporated. Talk about girl power. Young women have become the majority in several Long Island Junior ROTC programs. Steve Langford has a story you'll see only in Newsday. Mark time. Mark. At Hempstead High School, close to 60% of the cadets in the JROTC program are women.
Today's world, women are taking the initiative. Women are stepping up, you know, into doing things for themselves and to prove themselves to be just as equal as men. Leadership, self-discipline, preparing for the challenges in life, lessons that have attracted 138 cadets to this high school program. I have learned how to be confident in myself. Like confidence that the things that I do, the decisions that I make, knowing that I will make a mistake, um, it's okay. 16 year old Leslie Alas is a lieutenant colonel in the JROTC here. My parents at first didn't want me in the program because they thought they were going to send me off to the military. But I explained for them and they seen like changes in me. A lot of the parents will disagree for their kids to be involved in the program thinking that we're trying to get them into the military and that's not the case. Instructor Herbie Mickens, a retired Army Sergeant First Class, says this program is about motivating young people to become better citizens, not recruiting for the military. Still, the attraction can be powerful. A small percentage do go into it. You know, they, they fall in love with the structure that we have here, which comes from a military structure and they like the obedience, they like the, the organization of it. JROTC cadets who go on to enlist in the military start at one pay grade higher than most other enlistees. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Alas sees a future for herself in the military. I want to join the National Guard. Poise, pride and purpose at just 16 years old. Steve Langford for Newsday TV. Should be very proud too. Now to read more about the junior ROTC program, go to newsday.com, click get more, below the Newsday TV video box. A new adventure park featuring a surf pool just opened on the East End. Elisa DeStefano has a story you'll see only in Newsday. Surf's always up at Scott's Point in Calverton. This place is huge. There is so much to do here, but this is unique. This is our indoor pro flow quarter pipe. It's the most unique sheet wave in the world and we have surfing all year round. And it's the only one on Long Island. Only one on Long Island. If you'd like to stay dry, there are games. <laughs> what is this? This is a giant pool table. The balls are the size of soccer balls. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. The 3,000 square foot state-of-the-art laser tag room is loaded with Long Island landmarks. They have ax throwing. There are rock climbing walls, plus. We have a clear wall that you can race your friend on. It's the same route on both sides. She did it, she did it. Try golf simulation. And a nine hole mini golf course. I'm trying to find my sport here. Oh! Oh my God! And then there's this whole room for the younger kids. Yeah, we have a huge space in here. It's got more rock climbing, a big ninja warrior course, some warp walls. There's a play set, an area for younger kids, and a virtual reality station. It looks like so much fun. Yeah, it keeps them busy all day. If you want to stay the whole day, they have a restaurant on site too. And if you look outside, we have a giant lake out here. There's a five acre beach. We have a two acre obstacle course out there. It's got slides, swings, cabanas, trampolines, you name it, it's out there. So there is more fun to come yeah. once the weather warms up. It'll be even better in summertime. Elisa DiStefano, Newsday TV. Looks like a lot of fun. Now to read more about Scott's Point, go to newsday.com, click get more below the Newsday TV video box. We are the people that go to meetings, look at the documents for you. That means a lot to the people who influence policy. It means a lot to our readers. Newsday, covering Long Island like no one else can. You're watching Newsday TV. I'm Ken Bufa. Thank you so much for joining us. We're leaving now with a look at your seven-day forecast.